Hey everybody, the Banga's back. Welcome to part 2 of Let's Play Crash Bandicoot, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Okay, I think it's time to do another stage called Upstream. Okay, this one can be very frustrating if you're not good at platforming. But if you are, well, you obviously have nothing to worry about. I don't think I can get 100% in this one either on the first try. So we might as well just try to get whatever ones we can. Just for the hell of it. Ooh, got hit by the fish. Got hit by another fish! Okay, that's obviously not on purpose, mind you. Okay, I just have to time myself carefully, wait for that leaf. And there we go. Extra life, and I'm gonna get out and dodge, but try not to stay on that plant for too long because it will chomp you back. You can probably spin into those fish too, but you're better off just avoiding them. Just move around safely. Otherwise, you can find yourself in a shitload of trouble. Ooh, another Aku Aku. Okay, the blue ones will chomp automatically, so time yourself. Okay, so I need the yellow gem to get across. Fair enough. Let's have to say I need that first. Alright, bonus stage. Let's go. And I get some more Wumpa fruit, because I can. Wait another one up. The thing I like about these bonus stages, you don't have to hit up or down at all. Just left or right is enough. So I'm 13% through the game, that's not too bad at all. Nah, no in game save. Ooh, that was close. Jumps like this, be sure to watch your shadow. Okay, that's all. Well, these levels aren't too hard. As a result, I only missed three boxes. And I needed the yellow gem twice, apparently. Who knew? Anyways, time to take on Papu Papu, who is the first boss of the game. I love cheeseburgers a bit too much. That's why I'm fat. Okay, yeah, this guy boss is pretty easy. You only need to jump on his back three times. <laughs> you can see his ass crack too. Like even when he's spinning that stick, you can pretty much have a good chance of hitting him. Now pull up your shorts or skirt, or God knows whatever the hell you're wearing. Okay, Rolling Stones. Let's do this. Okay, gonna watch all those Piranha Plant rip-offs. Okay, can I get 100% in this one? I don't remember. I don't think I can. But, let's see, just to be safe. Ah, uh, sweet, that scientist over there, I forget his name, but apparently he's Cortex's uh, assistant. And he's got a different kind of bonus stage. I don't think you can save in his bonus stages, but you can get some one-offs too. They're designed to be more dangerous and tricky. Okay, let me hit that box in the middle. Yep, that's a one-up. Um, I'm gonna camp over here. Nope, nothing else came out. Checkpoint! Okay, I'm gonna wait, and there we go. 
Whoa, that was close. I almost had my first death. That was my first death, was it? Yeah, it was. Ooh, that was close. At least the camera in this game doesn't suck. Aww. Okay, I was still able to get up there. Uh, but I don't, won't be able to reach what's up there, though. What have I got? Okay. Don't stay on that platform for too long, otherwise it would have sank down and brought you with it. And that's no good. Oops, I hit my mic. That's it. You're doing a crash. One up! I probably won't be able to do all this on one bounce, though. I have to get in the middle of these to get the most out of them. Oh, that is just nice. Ah, oh, now I'm only 15% complete. So I still got a ways to go, but then again, this is only the second part. No rush. Okay, so I need the blue gem to get all this. Die, skunks. The smell. That's why you should die. I wouldn't mind if your stink was your rotting flesh, though. I'm just one evil person, aren't I? But I digress. Okay, so as a result, I missed six boxes. Eh, whatever. I guess I'll be coming back again later. Ah, Hogwild. This one could be very frustrating if you don't have good reflexes. You're gonna find out why. Because you move around automatically. So needless to say, I have to do this all in one life and not miss any boxes. Oh yeah, and Aku Aku will not help you here. Because one hit, you are down. So watch out for the villagers and the shields too. Jump on the drums and you should be able to get across. These old cliffs anyway. Sure, you got the field drawn out. Otherwise, you could find yourself screwing up. Jump! Just go under. Jump! Oh, hug right! I think I made it. Yep, I did. Ah, my third gem. Good. Eh, in-game save this time. Why not? Okay, I still got a ways to the halfway point, though, in terms of levels. Ah, eh, let's continue. Why not? Native Fortress. Yeah, I don't think I'd be able to get everything here, either. This is going to require a lot of bouncing. What have I got? Yay! Yay! For the monkey. And those plants. as before. Just hit him from underneath. Like, long jumps 
will be very tricky if you don't know how to land properly. Bounce. There we go. Okay, so far so good. And for a PlayStation game, the lag spikes have actually been very, very minimal. I like that. I'll take that. Eh, you go make me a sandwich. Over there. Over where I knocked you off. That was close. I could have screwed up there. That seemed pretty easy to do. I'm gonna wait for that fire to pass. Hey, I thought you were supposed to make me a sandwich. Now you gotta make me two. You better make them just right as well. No fooling. Uh, hey, one up's gonna have to go to waste. Okay, now. Huh, stupid Tarzan ripoff. Oh, bonus stage again. Alright. I'm sure you guys won't mind the, uh, Fraps frame rate showing up there in the corner. I mean, it's only taken up, like, what, 1% of the screen? Probably less than that. If you guys are complaining, I feel sorry for you guys. So much. So, so much. But whatevs. Not my problem. My problem is getting across this level just fine. Without any problems. Ooh, I almost missed that jump. Sweet, another Aku Aku. Perfect. Yeah, it's a turtle. I can do this all day or until that box is around and okay, I'm bored. Hey. Now I gotta make me like five sandwiches. That's a penalty multiplier. You should have already known that bitch. Now it's good. They see me bouncing, bouncing. I'm kicking ass while I'm at it. Am I at the uh, highest point of the level? I should be. Unless there's another tower I need to scale. And it wouldn't surprise me to say the least. They can have this level keep going. But I mean, it's not bad. I mean, all the levels, to me, so far, are, well, fun. They got a fun factor to them, and I, I need the red gem to get all this. So no 100% here, at this level. As long as you have good self-control, and, uh, good thing I had an Aku Aku. I think I could have made it faster with short jumps instead of long ones. Yep, they managed to keep this level going. Wow. And a place for four one-ups. They must think I really desperately need them right now at this point. Who do they think I am? Probably someone who did that. Now I have to go all the way back up, and uh, considering I couldn't get 100%, why did I still bother to get those boxes? Why? Because I care. I care about destroying boxes. And I care about getting one-ups. And that's all. 
Hit a fortress defeated. For now. But I'll be back. And I'll get those 11 boxes, too. Alright, what's next? Up the creek? Um, I think I'll do that next time on Let's Play Crash Bandicoot. See you later, everyone.